Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias from the Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansera. Qualitative research definition and characteristics. This particular presentation is in response to the suggestions of some of my students and colleagues who wanted me to, uh, to have a brief presentation regarding the definition and characteristics of qualitative research um, in social sciences and in general and in education in particular. So in this particular presentation, we will uh, briefly go through the definition and characteristics of qualitative research um, in social sciences. So we will begin with um, a brief definition of the research process itself. What is research? In gen generally speaking, research is a systematic scientific process of exploring possible answer to our answers to our questions regarding natural and or social phenomena. So the origin of research basically is has come uh, in uh, the field of natural sciences, including physics, chemistry and biology and other such branches of, uh, of the natural sciences. The focus of such research which uh, originated in the natural sciences was on the quantification of phenomena, the measurement of, of phenomena and statistical analysis uh, including calculations and the tools of data coming in uh, uh, coming in this way included observations and experimentation so that's a kind of a background into the general concept of research and especially research research as it originated in the natural sciences um, then uh, whenever we are thinking about research in general is I just briefly discussed it, the origin of research in natural sciences, including physics, chemistry, and biology. The focus is on, um, quant uh, has been on quantification of phenomena, the measurement, statistical analysis, calculations, and also on the replicability of the research process and the research outcomes and ultimately the generalization of the research results. And so observations, experimentations, and manipulation of variables were, were some of the ways in which data was um, collected. And then the research process went through in this way. The focus of such research uh, was basically on the how much or, and the how many of things. And so this is something uh, that belongs to the quantitative uh, aspect of research. And so such researches were uh, called the quantitative researches. Then there came a time when the application of the scientific method was considered in the social sciences including sociology, psychology, and, and, and also education, perhaps more recently. And so, um, as the basic aim of research was, or, or, or like the, the predominant mode of research was the quantification of phenomena, and especially the natural phenomena, which was, which was in a way difficult quantification of uh, the uh, human behavior and the social phenomena uh, in, in the way that, uh, that is actually done in the case of natural phenomena is uh, not an easy thing to do. So there came the role of qualitative research where the focus was not actually on the 
quantification and the observation and experimentation or manipulation of variables, but actually understanding and interpretation of the uh, of the social phenomena and of the human behavior. And this interpretation and understanding in a naturalistic and contextualized way. And so the questions that are uh, actually more relevant to the qualitative research process include the why questions so and the how questions. So how is something happening the way it is happening? And why is it that uh, something is happening, some behavior is actually manifested in particular situations? So the why and how questions are questions that are more relevant to the qualitative um, type of research, which does not actually mean that such questions cannot be answered through quantitative researches, but only that these are more specifically and perhaps more, more elaborately um, um, actually could be explored through qualitative researches. Um, and so now we move to the third part uh, of this brief presentation, and that is the characteristics of qualitative research. Um, so there are a number of characteristics associated with qualitative research, and the first one is that the qualitative research is naturalistic. Naturalistic actually means that the qualitative research uh, research process or inquiry will play will take place in natural settings. So there is no manipulation of variables, um, and so usually, usually there is no um, dependent or and independent variables, as that is the case in uh, um, in quantitative experimental studies. The second thing is that the focus of um, qualitative research is understanding of the phenomena, including human uh, behavior. In its in in terms of its context, with uh, with reference to its co its context, and so naturally there is detailed descriptions of the research settings. So qualitative researchers will actually, uh, uh, generally in their reports, will give detailed descriptions of the research settings in which they have conducted their their study. And then the development of theory rather than testing hypotheses, generally in quantitative researches and with positivistic uh, paradigms, um, the focus is actually on the collection and analysis of data in order to test hypotheses or in order to test theories or in order to apply theory to particular situations. But in the qualitative researches, it is actually the generation or the creation of the development of theory uh, rather than the testing of theory or hypotheses. And in many cases, qualitative researches lead to the development of hypotheses that are actually, that could later on be tested through uh, more quantitative uh, large scale studies. Then the next thing is that qualitative researches are inductive researches. That actually means that this mode of inquiry goes from the from understanding the particular um, and the specific, rather than uh, the, its focus is not actually on the generalization or, or deduction. And the next uh, quality or characteristic of qualitative research is that its focus is on the ends rather than means. In many quantitative researches, the focus is on um, the application of the means, which actually means the sticking to particular research, research methodologies or designs. In the case of qualitative researches, the focus is actually on getting answers to those particular questions that are related to the study. And so uh, means could be flexible and there could be 
different means towards to achieve a part particular ends. The next important thing is that qualitative research designs are flexible research designs and um, so because the questions are open and so the design has to be flexible in order to adapt according to the demands of the changing nature of the research question. Um, and it, uh, it, al it also ha have to be, these also have to be flexible because uh, one of the important factors in qualitative research is, is the increasing understanding of the researcher regarding the particular phenomena that he or she is exploring. So this flexibility of research design is, uh, is extremely important in qualitative uh, researches. And so usually such researches begin with data rather than theory. Um, Long-term personal involvement of the researcher in the field is also an important characteristic of qualitative characteristic of qualitative research. Uh, this is this is because the in qualitative research is the researcher is a part um, or an, in a way an instrument of the data collection and analysis analysis processes. And so as a result, long-term personal involvement of the researcher is, in, is important so that he or she can have that contextual understanding and so they can uh, present a detailed description and report of whatever has happened throughout the course of the study. Then this is another characteristic of qualitative research is that smaller and purposive samples are, um, are used in qualitative researches as compared to quantitative researches where the samples are usually um, larger and they are random samples so that they could be uh, representative of the populations and so that they, the findings from those could be generalized to the broader uh, populations. But as in qualitative research, the focus is not on generalization of the findings or the development of theory, but on actually uh, in-depth understanding of the particular uh, contextual phenomena. So that's why uh, smaller purposive samples are used. Again, because the nature of qualitative data is that, that the researcher needs detailed data in the form of interviews or observations, so larger samples are not feasible in this type of research. Um, and then we have the, uh, the next characteristic is that mostly in qualitative research is the data comes in the form of textual data. Which, is, which means non-numerical data that comes in the form of text through interviews or through observations or through other document analysis. And the last, which is, which might not be the last, uh, there, there are other, there might be other characteristics as well. These are the main characteristics that I have included here. Is the validity, reliability, if, uh, is actually taken in a broader sense. Usually in quantitative researches, validity and reliability are dependent on the tight structure of the research design and plus the um, validity and reliability of the research instrument um, in kind of statistical terms. But in qualitative researches, validity and reliability of the research goes beyond the testing and the sampling and um, and then the calculations of the of the, of the data coming through these uh, research instruments um, and also the pilot processing. So in qualitative researches, what happens is that the the validity and reliability um, is a is a kind of broader and it it is actually over. Uh, lapping over the whole research process. So the validity and reliability of the research process will include detailed description of the research process and it will also include the 
academic uh, honesty and the um, the proper and honest reporting of the whole research process um, that that is actually required on the part of the researcher. So validity and reliability in the qualitative context is a whole new topic and we will come to, to this, we will discuss that topic in some future presentation. So I hope this brief presentation might have clarified um, the some some aspects of the definition um, and the uniqueness of the qualitative research and its characteristics. I'm sure you people will have uh, questions and comments in your mind. So if you have those questions and comments, please um, share those questions and comments. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye.